Governor Babagana Umar Zulum was sworn in to take charge of the affairs of Borno State on May 29, 2019. Four years down the line, the people of Borno State have every reason to celebrate. Looking at the governor's tenure report, chronicles successes, which indeed are cognate reasons for applauding Professor Babagana Umar Zulum for proving bookmakers wrong. In four years, a total number of 957 major projects were executed, with 674 projects representing 70.4% successfully completed and 283 or 29.6% are at different stages of completion. This report, guided by the 10 packed agenda of the Zulum administration, indicates the sectoral performance analysis that captures performance index of each sector. Security has 169 projects, good governance 161 projects, education has 124, reconstruction, rehabilitation and resettlement 115 projects, water and environment 113 projects, while the health sector recorded 70 projects during the period under review. Roads and transportation, rural and urban development has 68 projects, job creation, youth empowerment and humanitarian support, 63 projects, agriculture and food security recorded 41 projects, while commerce and industry has 33 projects. The security sector in the first four years of Zulum administration witnessed the establishment of the Security Trust Fund to complement the operational needs of security agencies, particularly logistics, such as procurement and distribution of 1,417 surveillance patrol vehicles to the armed forces and the volunteers, procured 16 excavators for the excavation of security trenches and four bulldozers for clearance operations. The government of Borno State under my distinguished leadership will continue to support the Nigerian police force with a view to meeting its objectives of securing the lives and properties of the people. I will buy more APCs. The Zulum administration also procured 12 armored personnel carriers APCs for the Nigeria police. Formation of Rapid Response Squad RRS for surveillance, rapid intervention and combating crimes, building the capacity of youth vanguard CJTF, vigilante and hunters to provide security support. Introduced and funded the Borno model, a non-kinetic approach that coordinated the voluntary surrender of over 90,000 ex-insurgents. Also, the Zulum-led administration has introduced and funded the three Ds, drop arms, demobilize and de-radicalize, and three Rs, rehabilitate, reconcile and reintegrate, leading to the reintegration of 6,900 repentant insurgents back to the society. Excavation of security trenches around the perimeter of townships to enhance the security architecture in all affected areas. Security support through the provision of long-range surveillance cameras, drones, motorcycles and provision of logistics support to all security outfits operating in the state. Providing funds to support orphans and widows of fallen heroes, revival of farming activities with the introduction of the Agro Rangers program and the impact of Borno model leading to improved farming and other socio-economic activities in the state. His Excellency Professor Zulum has contributed immensely to the successes so far achieved. Uh, we have said it over time that um, our efforts being kinetic is just about 25 percent. 75 percent is the non-kinetic and that is where he comes in. The governor of Borno State is a performing governor because he has uh, empowered the police with both uh, 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 capacity and uh, even uh, support for our widows and uh, deceased. Borno State government led by his Excellency the Executive Governor of Borno State, Professor Babagana Omar Azulum, has um, supported the Air Component Operation Hadinkai immensely.
The post-insurgency recovery drive witnessed the reconstruction, rehabilitation and resettlement of destroyed communities with the construction of 12,060 units of two-bedroom rural housing across the state, which includes 300 houses at Ngamdu, Kaga local government area, 500 at Damboa in Damboa local government, 1,000 houses at Dalori in Kondiga. Chibok has 250 resettled houses. 500 houses at Ngurosoi in Bama ongoing. Goshe town in Goza has 250. 500 houses were also built in Kauri town of Kondiga. Miringa, 300 in Biu local government. 500 houses each at Lomani town in Gala and Gajibo town of Dikwa is currently ongoing. Garanam 575 in Mafa. Ajiri Mafa 500 houses has also been delivered. Also in Kaleri village of Mafa local government area, 1,020 houses has been built. In Monguno town, construction of 1,500 houses is ongoing. Similarly, in Warabe village of Goza local government area, 300 resettlement houses has been built. In Auno town of Kondiga local government area, 690 houses has been completed. Rimirgo town in Askira Uba also has 300 houses. Gajiganna has 500 under construction, 500 in Mole of Jere. Banki town of Bama has 500 houses. In all, 12,060 houses in 20 locations across the state. There's also construction of resettlement houses in 20 major towns, which include Banki, Gurosei in Bama, Gala, Wulgo, and Gambaru in Gala, Ran in Kala Balge, Kirawan, Goshe, and Warabe in Goza local government areas. Others include Chul in Askira Uba, Kroskowa and Baga in Kukawa, New Marte in Marte, Malumfatori in Abadam, Kudumbali and Merari in Guzamala, Malari and Kauri in Kondiga, Ajiri in Mafa, Tungushe in Kondiga, and Gajiram in Ganze local government areas. The Zulum administration has constructed 10 new government lodges in Goza, Askirauba, Chibok, Benishek in Kaga, Monguno, Azare of Haul, Ran in Kalabalge, Bama, Gubio, and Governor's Lodge, Mafa. The Zulum-led government has also repatriated and resettled over 5,000 Borno citizens displaced by insurgency from Minawau Camp, Mokolo in far northern region of Cameroon, to Bama and Banki towns of Borno State. Similarly, 1,800 Borno indigents have been repatriated from Boso, state of Difa in Republic of Niger, to Malum Fatori town of Abadam local government area of Borno state. Ten internally displaced persons IDP scams have been closed and resettled 260,608 households consisting of 1,824,256 persons back to their ancestral homes with dignity in line with Kampala Convention across the state. And electronics. The education sector is the worst hit in the 13 years of Boko Haram insurgency, as almost all facilities were destroyed. The Zulum-led administration has constructed 24 mega-sized schools in its first four years. These mega-schools comprise of 760 classrooms situated at Government Day Technical School Moromti in Kondiga, Gwani Kachalari Government Day Technical School, Jere. Gwenge 3 Government Day Secondary School, Meiduguri. Babagana Wokil Memorial School, Meiduguri Metropolitan Council. Higher Islamic College, Monguno. Higher Islamic College, Biu. And the Higher Islamic College, Gubio, in Gubio Local Government Area. Also constructed uh, 13 mega schools of 30 classrooms at Ajilari Cross in Jere. Askira in Askira Oba local government area, Beni Sheikh in Kaga, Balala in Chubok, Wuyo in Ayo, Pulka in Goza, 
Zannari Ward of Meduguri and the Meiderebe Memorial School in Jere local government area. Brote Town of Biu, Zajeri Ward of Meduguri Metropolitan Council, Larawaram Integrated School, Gamburu Liberty, Meduguri is currently ongoing and that of Alakaramti in Jere local government area. Also built by the Zulum administration are four higher Islamic mega schools of 48 classrooms each at Higher Islamic College Dambua, Higher Islamic College Dikwa, Higher Islamic College Ngala, and Higher Islamic College in Kwaikusar local government areas. Another five mega schools of 20 classrooms were delivered at Government Day Secondary School, Zabarmari of Jere local government area. Government Day Secondary School, Meiduguri. Government Day Secondary School, Gumsuri, Dambua. Government Junior Day Secondary School, Mandirari of Kondiga. As well as the Government Day Secondary School, Yimrathalang in Kwayakusar local government area. The Zulum government also constructed 744 classrooms in primary and secondary schools in addition to the rehabilitation and remodeling of 1,087 existing classrooms in primary and secondary schools across the state. Also constructed were 1,751 VIP toilets and the procurement and delivery of 105,683 units of two-seater furniture to schools across the state. Borno State Government, under the watch of Professor Babagana Umara Zulum, has sustained the payment of examination fees of WAEC, SSC, and NAPTEP for 114,209 students in public schools across the state to the tune of 2,485,829,000. The Zulum administration is also up to date in the payment of scholarships to 62,258 Borno indigents studying within and outside the country to the tune of over 3,626,556,000 Naira. We have a moral obligation to help rejuvenate the education sector. As you all know, it's was skip by the decade long insurgents. Lingering security challenges added more damage to the sector as such. We are taking the drastic measures to reposition the education sector. Holistically, we are providing qualitative teaching staff and enabling the environment to function effectively. Borno State Government has also reconstructed and rehabilitated the Umar Ibn Ibrahim Al Kanemi College of Education, Science and Technology, Bama, which was destroyed by Boko Haram insurgents, with academic activities resumed at the college. The Borno State Library has been remodeled while government has constructed teachers' quarters in four local government areas of Meiduguri, Banki, Magumeri, and Mafa. Similarly, the Zulum-led government has conducted competency tests on all local education authority teachers and implemented the 30,000 Naira minimum wage to 5,834 successful teachers. Also during the first term of Governor Zulum, 800 teachers have been recruited for public secondary schools in the state. It gladdens my heart that the Almighty should bestow on me not only to spearhead the nurturing of the university, but remarkably to partake in the maiden Senate meeting in the university as a visitor. Similarly, the Borno State University has witnessed rapid physical transformation with the construction of structures that fast-track academic activities. These structures include the construction of two 600-bed capacity students' hostel, completed the Senate building, construction of 7.5-kilometer road network and 15-kilometer drainages, construction of four professors' quarters as well. Also constructed were 10 three-bedroom staff quarters and 20 units of two-bedroom semi-detached bungalows while the construction of new College of Medical Sciences complex and the new Borno State University Teaching Hospital is currently ongoing. Five new faculties have been constructed 
in addition to the drilling of two low aquifer boreholes. The provision of clean, portable water for human and animal consumption, as well as for domestic use, is one of the cardinal objectives of the Zulum-led administration in Borno State. In realization of this goal, the Ministry of Water Resources and its agency, the Rural Water Supply Agency, has drilled 935 solar and motorized boreholes across the state. It has also carried out the rehabilitation of 909 boreholes across the state, in addition to the construction of mega-sized water facilities in Pulka, Chibok, Garannam, Moronti, Bama and Azare towns. Remodeling of Meiduguri Tibet Center and rehabilitation of waterworks A and C. A complete turnaround maintenance of 900 centrifugal pumps at Alo Row Water Facility, water treatment plant and the connection of Alo Row Water Facility to the national grid for steady electricity supply covering 14 kilometers, which provides water to Meiduguri Metropolitan Council and its environs. There was also the construction of new solar motorized boreholes for primary healthcare centers across the state. The administration of Governor Babagana Umar Zulum, in partnership with the ICRC, funded the Dala Alamdiri Mega Water Project with a capacity of 9 million liters per day and reticulated to 1,000 households. Water is life, and there is no life without it. As such, the government is investing heavily in water to ensure its availability, operability and safety for both human and animal consumption across the state. The Chabal water facility has been upgraded to ensure optimal water supply to surrounding communities and the construction of mini water works at Gamburu Moro Moro. The Professor Babagana Umara administration has overhauled 18 1,250 kVA generating plants at the water treatment plant to ensure uninterrupted water supply. The environment subsector has received the attention of the Zulum administration with the reintroduction of the monthly environmental sanitation exercise and inauguration of a high-powered committee on flood control and other related matters to ensure a filth-free environment and strengthening of environmental vanguards. Also, the Sanda Academy Park in Meidugri has been rehabilitated to meet up with the increasing number of people to the recreational park, in addition to raising of 9 million seedlings for tree planting campaigns. The Ministry of Environment has constructed 116.84 km of drainages at Meidugri, Jere, Mongono, Askirauba, Mafa and Kaga towns to mitigate flood. It also established 195 hectares of woodlots at Ovu, Meiduguri, Magumeri, Kaga and Kondiga towns as well as restored 51 hectares of degraded land at Magumeri and Gambu towns. In its quest to revive the ailing economy of the state due to the effects of 13 years of insurgency, Governor Zulum has constructed the Kwaikusar Modern Market reconstructed the Dambua Monday Market, the Banki Regional Market, the ultra-modern Teshambama Motor Park slash Market in Jere, Mafa Modern Market, and the reconstruction of the burnt Meiduguri Monday Market. The administration has constructed a befitting resilience commercial center in Meiduguri to stimulate commercial activities, in addition to the renovation of International Fish Market Baga Road in Meiduguri. Similarly, the Borno State Government has constructed the investment house for the Borno Investment Company, which, hitherto, have been in rented office for the past 35 years, and recapitalized the company with the sum of 2 billion naira and remodeled the Borno Plastic Company Boplas. Rebounding the economy is a key pillar of my 10 point developmental agenda. We cannot tackle the problem of unemployment or achieve the standards we want in our social services unless we do something about boosting commercial activities and industrial development. 
I'm committed to ensuring robust policies on the revitalization of our industry, trade and commerce in the state. I've taken up recent firm decisions to ensure that all economically viable road networks in the state are rehabilitated in order to set in motion both internal and international exchange of goods and services. The Professor Babagana Umaru Zulum administration has reconstructed the Borno Supply Company Bosco filling stations and procured additional trucks to improve service delivery while remodeling work is ongoing at the Borno State Hotels. To promote tourism and hospitality business, the Lectila Holiday Resort in Kwaibra, Haul local government area, has been remodeled. Equally, the Borno State Government, under Governor Zulum, has in line with his 10-point agenda, dispersed 2.15 billion Naira grant to traders to boost the ailing economy of Borno State. The beneficiaries of the grant include Monday Market Traders, Metro Plaza Traders, the Bagarod Motor Park Traders, the Custom Area Traders, the Canem Textile Marketers, the Milk Shop Traders, Colonna traders and traders in Biu, Goza, Banki, and Bama. Also not left out from the grant were the Babanlai electronic traders, Gamburu market traders, Kalamari Tailoring Cooperative Society, Abiso Agro and General Service, the Borno Cap Makers and Sellers, the Fezan Multipurpose Cooperatives, including the Barrack Women Association. The Professor Babagana Umara led administration also dispersed the sum of 2,653,704,000 naira to support the victims of Medugri Monday market fire disaster. The sum of 716,250,000 naira was also expended to support vulnerable, less privileged, and small business as startup through the Borno Microfinance Bank. It could be recalled that during our electioneering campaign, we promised to empower the traders with the beauty enhancing their means of livelihood. In the road, transport, rural and urban renewal sector, the Zulum-led administration has constructed 204.835 kilometers of road network in addition to asphalt overlaying of township roads. The administration has constructed the 3.44-kilometer twin-layer flyover at the custom area to decongest heavy volume of vehicular movement that links Medugri Ngala up to Cameroon from the east and Medugri Bama Mubi in Adamao State in addition to the 10-kilometer custom Muna dual carriageway. The administration has constructed two additional bridges at Mogaram Road and Gwange Amadubello Way as part of the dualization of township roads. Another critical project is the construction of an underpass way at Gamburu Market area in Meidugri to ease the movement of people are ongoing. Construction of the second flyover at Borno Express Junction has since commenced in earnest. This is in addition to the ongoing 74-kilometer Medugri Bama Road, which is about 60 kilometers completed. Similar township roads have been completed in Biu, Benishek, Askira, and Uba. The 9-kilometer Jiddari Road Network, Abuja Sheraton 4.8 kilometers, the Ramat Polytechnic Wulari 2.173 kilometers link road, Garanam Umarari 3.8 kilometer road, as well as the 1.1-kilometer Gwani Adam Street. Others are Boleri Market Road, 1.6 kilometers and 4.395 kilometers, and the 8.4-kilometer Mafa Township Road. The Jamboa Chibong Balala, Miringa Gunda, and that of Mongunu Township Roads are ongoing. The Zulum-led administration has procured heavy-duty moving equipment to fast-track the post-insurgency transformation drive in line with its 10-point packed agenda. These heavy-duty equipments include the procurement of 30 road construction equipment consisting of compact rollers, motor graders, excavators, tandem rollers, smooth rollers, bulldozers, asphalt rollers, 
premature rollers, filling machines, water tankers, trucks, pavers, and asphalt plant. It has also purchased and distributed 50 55 seater capacity international buses for urban mass transit, procured over 130 14 seater Toyota Hyas buses for intercity mass transit. In addition to that, but no state government has added another 14 units of 42-seater Ashok Leyland for intra- and intercity mass transit. Similarly, the Zulum-led administration has purchased 100 units of Toyota Corolla LE cars for intra-city mass transit and 500 units of tricycles Kekena Pep for intra-city mass transit as well. The administration has also constructed 21 urban mass transit bus stops. The Ministry of Housing and Energy is constructing 628 units of urban housing. This includes 500 units of two-bedroom housing estate at Gimtilo Kondega local government area, another 72 units of two-story three-bedroom housing in Meidugri is currently ongoing and advanced stages. Also, another 32 units of two-bedroom police-mounted troops barracks in Meidugri while the 24 units of three-bedroom doctor's quarters at UMTH in Jerry local government area have been delivered. As part of the urbanization drive of the Zulum-led government, 121 500 kVA transformers have been installed in MMC, Jerry, Piu, Kwayakusar, Shani, Askirawa, Dambua, Chibok, and Kondiga local government areas. Similarly, 4,996 units of streetlights of various categories have been installed across the state. In addition to the provision of two 5-MVA power transformers to Medugri and Dequa towns. The Ministry of Housing and Energy has also rehabilitated the Medugri Damaturu 33 kVA line and the Medugri Jakana 330 kVA line which was destroyed by the terrorists thereby restoring electricity to the state capital. Equally, the ministry has electrified nine local government areas with 20 communities and villages in addition to the provision of transformers to Pelathabu, Yaragi, Duraku, Sakwa, Kukurupu and Gula in Hau local government area. Other communities that benefited from the Zulum's electrification drive include Tommy in Dambua LGA, Bargu, Gundiri, Burkulog, Lokundum, and Kulara in Shani local government area. Others are Askira, Uba, Wamdio, and Rimirgu in Askira Uba local government area, as well as Mafa, Dikwa, Chibok, and Bama local government areas. Also, Wawa village in Kwayakusar local government area and Briel, Gamadai, Albaya, PKL in bio local government areas have benefited as well. The health sector under Professor Babagana Umara Zulum's watch witnessed massive infrastructural and human capital development during his first tenure in office. The administration has constructed and equipped 44 primary healthcare centers in Burate town of Biu local government area, Walagen and Alala in Chubok, LGA, Chanchandana, Wamdio, Ngulde and Uda in Askirauba local government area, Shongong Limanti, Izge, Pulka and Goshe in Goza local government area, Wawa in Kwayakusar, LGA, Dalori, Malari, Kauri, 707 Estate, Moromti, and Pompomari in Kondaga local government areas. Ajiri and Kaleri in Mafa LGA, Walama, Gasi, Bargu, and Gora in Shani LGA, New Marte, Dambua, Kareram in Magumeri LGA, and Gubio Town of Gubio LGA. Similarly, the Zulum led administration has constructed health facilities in Grosoi and Banki towns in Bama LGA, Kukurupu, Kwajafa, and Kwabra in Haul LGA, Gwenekachalari, 202 Housing Estate, Dusman, and May Musari in Jere LGA. Also, primary health centers were built in Bolori, Mesandari, Wulari, 
ወይደም ጋሪ በርከደ ዙዋ አንድ ዘናሪ ኢን ኤምኤምሲ ማለም ፋቱሪ ኢን አበደም ኤልጂኤ አንድ ቡልጎ ኢን ጋላ ኤልጂኤ ኢን ፉልፊልመንት ኦፍ ኤሌክሽናሪን ፕሮሚሰስ ዘ ጎመን ኦፍ ኦርኖስቴድ አንደ ማይ ሊደርሺፕ አስ ኮንስትራክተድ ኢ ነምበር ኦፍ ሄልፕ ፕሮጀክትስ ኢን ኦርደር ቱ ሪዲውስ ዘ ፍረሽ ኦን ዘ ታቸሪ ሄልፕ ፋሲሊቲስ ኦፍ ዘ ስቴት አንድ ሞስት ኢምፖርታንትሊ we provided we are provided help us net human capital development is very important the borno state government rehabilitated and remodeled 19 general hospitals across the state in its desire to provide accessible and affordable healthcare service these hospitals are the state specialist hospital meduguri umaru show ultra modern hospital the chest clinic meduguri the skin diseases hospital meduguri and general hospitals in biu mongono magumeri goza ayo kwaekusar shani azare and that of marama in how local government areas other general hospitals that witnessed rehabilitation include that of ran in kala balge lasa and that of askira in askiraoba the general hospital chubok and the general hospital ngala the professor zulum led government has also constructed and equipped two additional 50 bed capacity maternity health centers at ngwangye and abbaganaram in mmc the administration has recruited 1500 medical personnel equated their salaries with that of the federal government and extended the service year of health personnel by 5 years as well as constructed a befitting doctors quarters the borno state government has sustained the provision of essential drugs and equipment to all hospitals across the state and constructed doctors quarters as well we are witnessing the distribution of maternal drugs to over 70 healthcare centers in borno state It could be observed that large number of women are having difficulties in getting access to drugs and access to healthcare facilities during delivery and therefore this administration is determined to provide these drugs free to less privileged women in our society these quarters include 14 units of two story six bedroom condominium at legacy estate phase 3 meduguri six three bedroom doctors quarters at mommanshua memorial hospital and another six two bedroom doctors quarters at benishek kaga lga Similarly, construction of 13 of 1 and 2 bedroom semi-detached staff quarters for health personnel at Balala, Pulka, Walama, Ganzai, Kwajafa, Wamdio, Paga, Marte, Dikwa, Limantishongom, Uda and Damasak are ongoing. Governor Zulum's support to the poor, vulnerable and the displaced persons across the state is unprecedented. and this is as a response to the 13 years of insurgency which displaced about 2 million people zulum's humanitarian support which earned him the role of borno's chief humanitarian officer supported over 1,364,000 households and over 819,000 widows with 3,000 120,484 bags of assorted food items. The food staff consists mainly of rice, maize, millet, sorghum, and 102,000 bags of beans in addition to 288,000 liters of vegetable oil, 170,000 cartons of pasta noodles, seasoning and tomato paste. as well as 38000 packs of condiments were distributed 1,487,000 wrappers and 338,000 blankets and mats were also distributed to the poor 
vulnerable and displaced persons. In addition to cash support of 3 billion 535 million 500,000 naira to vulnerable households and over 4 billion and 97 million was also given to women and widows across the state. Promoting vocational trades for self-reliance and sustainable job creation is one of the Zulum's 10-point agenda designed to checkmate unemployment. To this effect, the Zulum administration has built five vocational enterprise institutes to train thousands of unemployed into various entrepreneurship skills. The institutions are the Vocational Enterprise Institute Muna Jere LJ, Mafwa, Magumeri, Dikwa and Biu, while the construction work on the Vocational Enterprise Institute in Shani is currently ongoing. So far, over 562,000 youth have benefited from the training, and these include the physically challenged persons, vulnerable women and youth in the state, where At the end, trainees were given startup tools, start off businesses, become self-reliant, and employers of labor as well. My own dream is to, be, to open a very big factory of fashion and design. Borno State Government has expended the sum of over eight billion five hundred and ninety-five million one hundred and fifteen thousand naira to put on these facilities. and ensure that unemployment rate is drastically reduced to the barest minimum promoting women empowerment for a sustainable growth and development is one of the cardinal goals of the zulum led government in borno state in view of that the ministry of women affairs and social development has been training women in different skills through its skills acquisition centers for trainees to earn a means of livelihood The Second Chance Women Institute is one of the centers that trains women and widows in sewing, knitting, soap and pomade as well as native scent making. At the end of their training, they are also supported with startup packs that includes sewing, knitting and grinding machines including generators among others. The ministry has renovated and furnished the approved school in Shokari and family support nursery slash primary school may degree remodeled and equipped the blind workshop in Budum may degree as well similarly additional facilities and hostels have been constructed at the Fatima Ali Sharif orphanage and integrated women empowerment center may degree one top priority of governor babagana umaru zulum's administration is good governance transparency accountability and the rule of law in this regard government has been up and doing to uphold that in furtherance to this the zulum led government has established the department of monitoring evaluation and special projects to track the implementation of government policies projects and programs as well as provide special interventions where necessary to navigate his vision and mission The administration acknowledging the civil service as being the engine of propelling government policies and programs paid the sum of 17.5 billion naira backlog of gratuities to 9619 retirees and seamless migration of civil servants from salary to pensions in addition to the renovation of the Musa Usman Secretariat good governance is an item among the 10 fact agenda of this administration the first items under good governance is payment of gratuities and pensions as it went to the administration is transforming the public service towards e governance ict policy document and ict capacity building in addition to digital networking of government agencies and websites to ensure efficiency within the judiciary 
The state judicial complex has been remodeled. In addition, 11 courts and 8 judges' quarters in 6 LJs of Shani, Kondiga, Dikwa, Mafa, Monguno, and Medugri have been constructed and equipped, thereby facilitating quick dispensation of justice, where over 304 judgments have been delivered. To ensure full restoration of civil authorities across the state, public institutions and buildings have been reconstructed, rehabilitated and remodeled and furnished for effective and efficient service delivery. They include six MS palaces at Dikwa, Biu, Pama, Askira, Shani and Show of Bornos Lodge at Hungom Mafa, seven district heads residences at Wuyo and Briel in Ayo local government area, Ajiri in Mafa, LGA, Gambaru and Gala towns in Gala, LGA, New Marte and that of Monguno. Local government secretariats that were hitherto burnt or destroyed by insurgents have been rebuilt in Askira, Askira Uba, Gubio in Gubio, Gajram, Ganzai, Briel, Ayo, Ran Kalabalge, New Marte in Marte, Monguno, Magumeri LGA, and Biu, while that of Malampatori in Abadam local government area, construction work is ongoing. The signals of the state-owned media outfit BRTV has improved with the procurement of additional TV transmitter, aggregation of the state to satellite transmission, the completion of ongoing community radio stations at Monguno, Biu, and Damasak, and the rehabilitation of government printing press, Meriguri. The Borno State House of Assembly complex has been remodeled and furnished with state-of-the-art facilities alongside sustained capacity building training for honorable members and staff to enhance service delivery. During the period under review, 67 bills were sent to the House of Assembly, out of which 43 have been passed and assented by the Governor. To ensure good governance, effective and efficient service delivery in tune with Zulum's vision, 14 boards and agencies were established to propel his mission for Borno's recovery drive. They include the Borno State Bureau for Public Procurement BPP, the Borno State Agency for Coordination of Sustainable Development and Humanitarian Response, Borno State Security Trust Fund, Borno State Education Trust Fund, Borno Geographic Information Service Bogies, Borno State Contributory Healthcare Management Agency, the Debt Management Office, and the Ease of Doing Business Council. Also established were the Human Capital Development Council, the Borno State Guidance and Counseling Board, Borno State Audit Service Commission, Borno State Arabic and Sangha Education Board, the Borno State Islamic Preaching Board, and the Borno State Traffic Management Agency, BOTMA. During the period under review, the Borno Geographic Information Service Bogis has issued out 2,000 Digital Geographic Information Service Certificates of Occupancy and generated over 2,644,800,000 Naira as internally generated revenue from 2019 to 2023. The Bureau for Public Procurement, BPP, has won all the disbursement link indicators worth $10.5 million, equivalent to 7,875,000,000 Naira. Borno is the only state among the 36 states that won the award. The Bureau also saved Borno State Government the sum of over 800,000,000 Naira in contract vetting that were not in conformity with the standard price list. The Zulum-led government has renovated the Borno State Pilgrims Welfare Board headquarters, constructed and rehabilitated 31 places of worship as well as sponsored pilgrims on pilgrimage. The agricultural sector, being the major occupation of Borno people, has picked up in earnest after 13 years of insurgency as farmers have now returned to farm with over 10,000 hectares of farmland opened up under the mega farms to encourage IDPs and returnees engage in farming activities. And have gone as far as, as up to about 60 kilometers. Very encouraging to see that areas that have not been cultivated 
for the last eight years and now cultivated. Government has drilled over 2,500 wash boreholes in seven LGAs and high capacity boreholes at Monguno and Mafa for irrigation purposes. Government is supporting 3,500 irrigation farmers with water pumps, seeds, and agrochemicals and spray equipment and distributed 500,000 nursery seedlings of okra and tomatoes to 500 irrigation farmers in Jere, MMC, and Kondega local government areas. Similarly, the administration has procured crutches, vaccines, rain boots, raincoats, and Coleman boxes and provided cash support to 2,619 farmers to boost farming activities. I am called since the assumption of duty as the chief executive of the state has been that of patience, endurance, and quick return to farming when the government does the need for farmlands along the major highways and putting necessary safeguards to protect the farmlands as well as the farmers. In addition to the support package in terms of farm inputs and financial incentives, the government is working towards facilitating grants to farmers from various sources help boost of the agricultural sector. I'm also assured that sooner than later, we'll have another one batch of 150. We intend to improve in other areas of human capacity and provide the necessary requisite logistics support as well as communicating gadgets for them to function very well in the state. Borno State Government has procured and installed power boilers paddy rice machine with the capacity of processing 20 bags per hour and another Alvan Blanche rice mill at Zabarmari with the capacity of processing 1,500 tons per day. The Zulum-led government has established 20 hectares of orchard in Uvu and Benishek towns. In addition to that, supported 25 individuals to establish orchards of one hectare each. Government has rehabilitated the poultry production unit at Farm Center Meduguri and constructed a 120,000 bird capacity per cycle hatchery. Resuscitated the Amarwa irrigation pivot sprinkler project earlier dismantled by the insurgents, in addition to the construction of four stranded steel structured multipurpose shade to accommodate agricultural machineries and equipment at the Borno Agricultural Mechanization Agency in Meiduguri and the Meiduguri Abattoir has been rehabilitated as well. Also, during the period under review, the Ministry of Agriculture under the Irrigation Scheme has constructed 10 earth dams to harvest rainwater for irrigation, livestock and fisheries in Mafa and Chibok. In the same vein, purchased 3,000 metric tons of NPK fertilizer to be distributed to farmers in the 2023 farming season and resuscitated rice farming in Mafa, Dikwa and Jere Bale covering over 20,000 hectares of land. The Extension Service Scheme has trained 1,560 extension agents in collaboration with the Multisectoral Crisis Recovery Project, MCRPAF, and purchased 3,000 goats and 1,500 cattle, which empowered and encouraged animal husbandry. With 957 major projects recorded within its first term in office, Indeed, Governor Babagana Umar Zulum has changed the pace of governance and service delivery in Borno as he is set to consolidate on the achievements recorded in his second term.